Good morning, everybody. Uh, I have two more days, and then I start my vacation. A lot of you think I get a lot of vacations, and I do. That's just the way I work them out. But uh, this vacation I have this time has to be taken by next Friday, or I'm going to lose it. That's why I'm going to be on vacation next week. I'm going to do a little bit of work around the house, cleaning out closets and a junk room, and this, that, and the other. And you see Mr. Furley behind me is back there playing around on the couch. I have to keep the couch covered or he's not able to jump up and down on it like he would like to. Now that I'm doing a video, well, he's going to cry because I'm not giving him all my attention. But here's a story that I couldn't pass up of telling you. A man in Miami uh, killed his wife and after he killed her, he posted the pictures of her dead body laying on the kitchen floor posted them on Facebook and told everybody what he'd done. He, uh, his name is Derek Medina. He's 31. His wife was 26. He says that she was abusive to him. He said he just got tired of the abuse and he wasn't going to take it anymore. So, what he did was, uh, he he posted a picture of her blood-stained body where she was on the kitchen floor uh, to his Facebook page with a note. And in the note, he said uh, that he was going to prison or be sentenced to death. And he also said uh, that he's going to prison for killing. He said, I'm going to prison or death sentence for killing my wife. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Take care. Facebook. Uh, People, you will see me in the news. So he was letting everybody know. People were making little comments on it about what, you know, what happened, there, what? And they was looking at pictures of his dead, bloody wife laying on the kitchen floor. He shot her twice. He says that she was being abusive to him that day, that she had hit him several times, that uh, I think she pulled a knife out on him. And, um, but now just a few hours before that, they were at some restaurant or something. And uh, they were eating, and they were smiling, and it had a picture of that also. Uh, they were having together dinner together at an outdoor uh, marina. She was a very pretty girl, but that doesn't mean anything. She might have been very abusive to him. Okay, so after he killed her and took these pictures and made this post, he went and showered, changed his clothes, went to visit his uh, family members. I guess I told him, you know, what he had done. And uh, then, uh, after he visited all the family he wanted to visit, proceeded to go to the police station and turn himself in. A lot of people say, well, maybe she was abusive. He might get out of this, you know, because uh, of the way he did it. And he just wasn't going to take it anymore. And he did the right thing. Well, confessing, yes, he did the right thing by confessing. But here's the whole thing. And I don't care how abusive she was. Um... He left their 10-year-old daughter right there in the house with her dead mother while he went to visit his family, while he went to the police station. So the thing of it is, why are you going to leave your 10-year-old child there while you go visit your family? I would be taking my 10-year-old child with me to my family, tell my family what I did, and tell them to take care of my child. Not leave the child there with a the dead body. They said the child was not physically harmed. Well, the child is going to be emotionally harmed because he left her there with her dead mother. That part just doesn't make any sense. Um, the police went there and they, they found the child and they found the body. He says that him and his wife argued. He said he pulled a gun on her and she threatened to leave him. Uh, he said he put the gun away and followed her. Well, why was he following her for? And I uh, said she uh, she turned around and started punching him and he, he fetched the gun again and she pulled out a knife and he wrestled it out of his hands and she punched him again. So then he shot her multiple times. Well, in each one of these, it sounds to me like he was the aggressor. It doesn't sound like that she was abusive to him like I had originally thought, but reading that part just, just makes it sound like he 
was the aggressor. He said he pulled a gun on her and she threatened to leave him. Well, I threatened to leave him too if he pulled a gun on him. I say it probably happened. She probably threatened to leave him and then he pulled a gun on her. And he plainly states that he put the gun away and followed her. So, in order to follow somebody, that somebody has to be walking away. So she was walking away. And he was following her. So, she turned around and punched him. Well, he was probably following her. She turned around and punched him to get him to leave her alone. And then he pulls the gun out again. Well, then she pulls a knife out. You know, she's just trying to defend herself, too. And then he wrestled it out of her hands. And then he shot her multiple times. Yeah, it does sound like he's the aggressor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then to leave the child there. I wonder if all this happened in front of the child. I would think it would if she was still there at the house. I doubt whether she slept through this. And besides, if they had all just eaten at the marina a few hours before, I'm sure the child was still up. So, a lot of people post things on Facebook. Yeah, he posted this. And they said not only did he post her bloody picture of her corpse laying on the kitchen floor on Facebook, but it was shared multiple times throughout the couple of hours it was up. Uh, when somebody apparently reported to Facebook that it was up, and Facebook did take down the picture. They also, I think, took down his Facebook account as well as the Facebook account of his deceased wife. So, uh, for those of you sickos out there that's going to try to get on Facebook and look this up, it's no longer there. Anyway, till next time, bye-bye.